My name is Shashi Ranganath. I love my job. I'm a pediatric radiologist, so that means that I'm specifically trained in the imaging care of small children. So after four years of diagnostic radiology, I did a one-year fellowship at Children's Boston. Kids are not just little adults, and I think that's important to remember. You know, diseases manifest in a different way in kids than they do in adults. They break their bones differently. Um, infections manifest differently in kids. So my one year of training in that um, specifically was was the best thing that I could have done. We perform studies on kids that are often performed really in larger institutions and often academic medical centers that are specifically for children. So in the last five years, we've started doing things like neonatal hip, head, and spine sonography, transcranial dopplers, um, pediatric MR anesthesia. There's something called the Image Gently Campaign, which is a, a global initiative to raise awareness with um, radiation in kids. So we have developed protocols um, that are pediatric dose protocols that we utilize daily in order to make sure we get diagnostic quality imaging, but at the same time reducing the radiation dose as much as possible. The healthcare system at Kaiser is great because we have a very special electronic medical record. It's very easy for me to communicate with any of the pediatricians or pediatric subspecialists. So for example, there was a child who had had a chest x-ray for a chronic cough. And I looked at the chest x-ray and I noted that this child had something called a right-sided aortic arch, which is, which is atypical. When I, I called the physician because I said, you know, what's this kid's story? What, you know, how long have they had this cough? And it turned out that it was very chronic. And we did further imaging because sometimes you can have a right-sided aortic arch where abnormal vessel wraps around the area of the trachea and esophagus. And that was, that was the case. The kid had um, a congenital abnormality was, that was resulting in the chronic cough. So it was my communication that led to further imaging and then treatment. The kid had surgery and is doing well today. That's why you become a doctor, right? You want to take the best care of your patients that you can.